So let's take a look at what we're gonna need to get this done. First, we're gonna need an oil catch can, an oil funnel, new oil, we're gonna get, we're gonna be using Rotella 15W40 today, an oil filter, a ratchet, and a 17 millimeter socket, a deep socket. First thing you wanna do is lift up the bed. Each bed will be a little different. Either way, you wanna lift it up. Then you wanna identify where your engine is. Here is our engine. Here's the oil fill, and if we go directly below this, all the way down, we'll find the oil drain plug. I'll take you down there. Right here, there's a guard here, and you have your oil pan, but right in the center, there's a hole here. The hole is cut for a reason. This is where your drain plug is. You're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket. Loosen this up, bring your oil catch can, and drain your oil. Start loosening this by hand. Let's put your oil system over here. And let's drain this bad boy. There we go. You want to get your rag and clean where the oil drain plug is going to seat. You want to make sure there's no dirt and debris there, too. We're going to reinstall it. All right. The wrench, we're just going to make this snug. That's good. Now let's drain the oil filter. So the oil filter is up through this crack here. Hopefully you guys can see it. And you gotta put your hand up there and loosen it up. So you should be able to loosen these up um, by hand. These are supposed to be hand tight. And looks like I'm gonna be able to loosen this by hand. If you can't loosen it by hand, you're gonna have to get an oil filter wrench or stab it with a screwdriver and uh, prior out. So I'm loosening this up and we're going to see oil start draining out like so. I'm just going to fish this down and I'll let that drain out there. So I lubricated the new filter with some oil and now I'm going to thread it back in by hand. So I'm threading this on, I'm tightening it with by hand until I get it pretty tight, now I'm slipping because of the oil. So now I'm taking a rag and I'm going to clean the oil around the oil filter. And I'm gonna to try to tighten it up a little more. And I got probably another quarter turn on it, so I'm good with that. I'm gonna wipe off any excess oil there is. Now that we wiped off all the excess oil, all we gotta do is refill it. This is the oil fill, remove the cap, Gonna also remove the dipstick and we'll put that in the rag off to the side. Funnel is in and let's start pouring it. Let's let that fill up and then we'll check it, see where oil level's at. All right, let's take the dipstick, fish it in there. Let's see what the oil level's at. So this is reading that the oil is full in this thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this thing for about five minutes, turn it off, let it sit, and then check the oil level again. Okay, so I shut it off and I let it sit for five minutes. I'm gonna wipe off the first one and then we can get an accurate level. And you can look at this, and it says it's good. It says it's right at the high mark. So uh, we're going to leave it just as is, drive it around, maybe check it in a week or two, see if we've got to add a little bit. But right now, we're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time.